five freaking stars. My tabbies are fine, right? I got physically angry. <sighs> no, it was not. Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. I really really appreciate it so in today's video i'm going to be talking about books i read in may oh my god i had a really really great reading month i had some five stars i had some four stars i had some three stars i did not finish one and i did not even smell some <laughs> like i didn't even pick it up to start okay so these are all the books here and we're going to get through all of them i think they are about 11 or so so yeah <laughs> I'm so excited. The ones I did not smell, like I didn't touch, I didn't read. First one is this one, the Tony Tone, the blue one. This one is Real Life Lessons. I didn't get to it and I didn't get to it because I didn't finish the other one. Hear me out, hear me out. The other one I, hmm, the another one. What the hell? <laughs> another one I didn't smell is Karisoto is back and I didn't smell because of there was there was no time, okay? Because there was no time. It's not like I didn't plan to read. I didn't want to read. I wanted to read it. In fact, I was so excited to read this, but there was no time. It was always there, almost the end of the month. So I was like, okay, so Karisoto is back. So these two are transferring to June. We are carrying Karisoto to June, okay? So Karisoto carry you to June. <laughs> that was that was a bad rumor. Oh my god. Now let's get to the ones I didn't finish. Oh. It's just two I didn't finish actually. This one, the second one of Tony Tone. This is the blue one. This is the uh, the pink one. This one is I wish I knew this earlier. Lessons on love. In my defense, I don't know. The book is really good. In fact, I'm giving it five stars. I'm giving it five stars because it contains a lot of things we should know and we learn from, and a lot more. Like it's so tiny, but it's packed. It's fully packed. I call it small but mighty. This book. I call it small but mighty. But the reason I didn't finish it is because I guess because it's non-fictional and I'm, I'm just slow. But I plan to actually finish it because it's really, really good. The other one I did not finish is this Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson. This one. This one. You guys, nobody told me that this was written in second person POV. Like you, you noticed that you started to fall for this girl and she, she said something to you and then you are like... Yeah, come say now. So this is actually written in second person POV and I am not really a fan of it. You see something like or uh, you say and then you and then you you like you gazed at each other. You you lost a gaze. You 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 came here to speak. And then there's no name so far. I'm on page 18. I DNF because Lord knows I was reading one paragraph like three times to understand maybe because it's a different kind of book for me and I've not read something like this before but I plan to maybe read it when I am you know you guys know now uh, this is I'm new to reading like this is my first year in reading so I cannot be cracking my brain and I almost went in a book slump because of this book so I, I am so happy that I just decided to stop because I'm this kind of person I want to finish the book even if I hate it I still want to try to finish it but thank god Anyway, that aside, so now let's go to the books that I read and rated. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, guys, the first book I read was this one, The 18 Game by Sally Turn. You guys, this book was actually really, really sweet. It's a office place romance. Did I say office? Yeah, work, workplace romance. They are enemies to lovers. They hate each other. They are both competing to get a spot at their work. And one... <laughs> Both of them want to boss the other one around, you know that kind of thing. But the cool thing I liked about it is the fact that both of them were opposite each other. They sit opposite each other at work. Uh, their their work their work is like two companies came together. So they she has her own boss, he has his own boss, but they they are both bosses. So like, you know, yeah. So this is the boss. Then there will be someone else to boss them around. So. They want to promote either Josh or Lucy, so both of them have to compete for that spot. Then you know now they started falling in love and stuff like that, like that. It's actually really, really interesting. I really liked it, but I just didn't like the way Lucy all of a sudden started acting like she cannot live without him. Oh, there was one cute part too. There was this cute part where Josh had to take care of Lucy when she was sick. Like, oh my god, that part was like. Another thing again is Josh's family. They don't, they don't regard him much as his father. 
doesn't regard him that I like he feels like okay uh you're not a doctor so we're not going to respect your choices and stuff like that so I love the fact that Lucy stood up for him in the family gathering but at this point now I'm feeling like I'm mixing another story up like maybe it's not even this story but at the same time I just didn't like the way Lucy was like all of a sudden oh I love him so much I'm like what are you crazy just now you were like you I know we I know you know we know that you love him but why do you have to be acting like then Lucy lied that she's she has a date then Josh was like okay fine go out to this person go out with this person and come back and tell me if you still feel the same way about me like like if we still have this connection when we touch when we kiss you know <laughs> you guys it was really really nice but i just didn't like which was just a little bit that's this one four stars it's something i would love to read again just saying <sighs> the next book i read november 9 by colin uva oh my god this was so 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 amazing okay so it talks about fallon and ben both of them meet only on november 9 and they talk about what has happened the whole year round okay so it didn't just start like that ben is a writer and he's going through some problems fallon is supposed to be an actress but something happened she got burnt in a fire two years ago and then her life changed you know she started having this inferiority complex she's not proud of herself she doesn't feel good in her own skin and stuff like that so one day she was guys my battery is about to die so one day she was in a restaurant with her father and they were talking about this and her father was acting all weird like he didn't even remember that that particular day was the day that his daughter got burnt in the fire he did not he was acting like he didn't remember which is actually annoying so ben was seated beside them so all of a sudden the conversation was getting awkward between fallon and her father so ben just stood up from his seat and went to sit down beside fallon and was like oh sorry baby i'm late and then was like oh hello sir i'm her boyfriend and that's how they started fake dating for that day now the concept of this book is every november 9 they will have to meet and talk about what they've been through if they still have this feeling for each other because on that november night that they met that they met uh did i just say meth <laughs> fallon was about to leave to i think to new york to go and chase the career out. like she still wants to try to be an actress but the father was like discouraging her so ben was very supportive he, he was very motivational a lot of people have this controversy that you cannot fall in love with someone in a day i think you can actually fall in love with someone in a day but if you cannot i don't really care it's fiction it's a story we're not supposed to take it all that serious but i didn't see the plot twist coming and it was actually very very touchy i really liked it i was just a little bit kind of mm, when fallon was not listening to ben at some places i was like just listen just listen listen what you doing but yeah i gave it five stars the next book i read was this one beneath the baobab tree by adobe trisha Uwa ubani Uwa ubani so this is a nigerian book because they talked about this Boko Haram experience that the Chiba girls went through and I think the case study was Yata. Yata in this book she's she lives in the north she was one of the people that was kidnapped and more like a story but I don't know if it is really really somebody's story or it was just like a fic fictional way of showing us or giving us a glimpse of what really really happened in the Boko Haram camp so if you are not Nigerian you I don't know you might not know about the Chiba girls they were kidnapped by the Boko Haram. These Boko Haram are like terrorists. They are, in fact, they're not like, they are terrorists and they believe in all this violence. They kill Christians, most especially, you know, they say Islam is the way. In this book, I read, I found out that Muslims are not really the way Boko Haram say they are, you know, like the old violence and this, like it shows Muslim in a different light. And I'm like, wow, so Muslims don't really even have this, but no matter what, there will still always be bad eggs, which are the Boko Harams, of course. So it talks about her dreams, how they got crushed, her experience in the camp with the Boko Haram, how they were raped, how they were forced to do so many things, like how they lost each other, how they, they were brainwashed. You guys, this book was really, really good. I, I give it five stars. I don't know if I want to read it again, to be honest, because I don't think I want to go through all the old experience again because it felt like i was there and it was not a pretty sight you know <sighs> no it was not so i think everybody should read this but i'm not sure if i want to read it again because it was heavy it is actually heavy trigger warnings kidnap rape domestic violence stuff like that all here it was very painful to read you guys very painful but i gave it five stars the next book i read is this one you and me on vacation by emily henry <sighs> you guys this book was sweet 
it talks about poppy and alex they are best friends and they travel around the world together it's so sweet because i can't imagine traveling with your best friend all over the world and then you start to catch feelings for him and then you don't want to tell him that you have feelings for him because you don't want your friendship to be broken right oh now now i'm talking in second person pov <laughs> Okay, so, and you don't want them because you don't want your friendship to be broken because you don't want to lose what you guys have. But at the same time, you just can't dust off that feeling. That is the story. But I got bored. It's it's exciting. It's exciting to be traveling around the world to meet different people, to have different experiences and meet, have different cultures. You know, learn different things. But I don't know why I got bored in the middle. So I gave it three stars. Cause I, I felt, and then there was a way that they were both acting like, <laughs> guy. We all know that for friends to love her, there's always going to be a misunderstanding kind of trope. But at the same time, <sighs> I don't know. I just got bored in video. Don't ask me. But it was nice. I enjoyed the story, but I just got bored. So the next book I picked up was this one. This one, The Return of Essa by Ifuna and Precious. Um, Ume Ala Jeku. Okay, I'm pronounced. I killed that, but. This is how it looks like. This book is not on Goodreads, and that's because it's a self-published book. She's a new author. She's a Nigerian author, and I wanted to. I was just scrolling on Instagram. And I saw a book, and I was like, okay, let me try it out. I did not know that this book is a book one of book four or four books. So I started reading this with so much anticipation. It talks about a girl named Erta that woke up after four years of coma, and then somehow, somehow, she's not the real Erta. Someone else, like, is she? Oh, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. She's in another person's body. She felt like, okay, I'm not Erta, but I'm Erta, and then she lost part of her memory. So it's kind of crazy. You start to wonder, okay, what really happened to the real Erta? Yeah. Why is she in Erta's body? Yeah. What is she supposed to do? So it takes you back, and then there's this guy, I, I forgot his name, but he was in love with her. So he was not trying to, you know, make her remember all those stuff. But yeah. The book just stopped abruptly on a cliffhanger because I still don't know what happened to Hertha and I still don't know Oh, I know what happened to Hertha, but I still don't know why she's inside Hertha's body Do you understand? So I was so 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 <clears throat> You know how you feel now when you are not accomplished <laughs> That's how I felt so I can't wait for the book so I went to send her a DM immediately on Instagram I was like, where is it? When is it coming out? And she said she's still in school so she's still trying to you know yeah, so it's not out and I don't know when it's going to be out, but I gave it four stars. It's really, I feel like anybody that doesn't know English can go through this book. It's written so easily for you to understand and the prints are very big, very big. And there's this cute map here. So it's so cool. Then because I could not contain myself, I was so pissed off that that stopped on that kind of cliffhanger and I now have book two. I immediately went to pick up this one. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins. <laughs> Five freaking stars. Five stars. This is historical fiction. I've never read something like this before. It was like I was reading about like reality show. I don't know how to explain it. You know this uh, Kardashians, uh, Life of the Kardashians. I never watched them. <laughs> I never watched them, but I felt like I was, it was giving me that kind of vibe. So it talks about the Rivers family the kids their parents what happened to them how they live their life and mick river is their father so he's a popular person he's a singer and very very popular so it talks about the kids life how they had to live without their father and then so many stuff happened in this book you guys it talks about a lot of other celebrities because they have this party every year where they celebrate and all the family comes together and apart from that all celebrities in the book they say if you know about the party then you're invited so a lot of people showed up even people that are not popular a lot of people are open to you know get knocked up and stuff a lot of dirty things happened in this book a lot of shitty things happened in this book a lot of secrets got exposed so many things a lot of things like the house now got burnt at the end <laughs> it's so crazy the party that year was mad so the book talks about what happened in the past, what happened in the present, what happened in the past, that kind of thing, but in no particular person's POV. So it was actually really interesting reading about them, their lives. I loved Nina so much. Like she was just so selfless. Nina was selfless. She put her she put other people first, which is bad, but at the same time, you can't find people that would do that kind of thing in this age, in this day. She was like their mother, she was like their sister. 
yeah and I, I was happy with that choice in the end so and this is making me hunger for Martin and Jackie's read. I went to go and buy more of her books. One True Loves. I ordered for two more of her books. I have Daisy Jones and the Six here and the Cor Carisotto. Oh, yeah, Carisotto was mentioned here and she was not mentioned in a good way to be, <laughs> to be quite honest. Carisotto was kind of bitchy in this book. And I'm like, okay, let's see her story, you know. We'll see her story later on. The next book I went on to read is The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelidis okay this book was there's no way i can explain it. everybody keeps saying that it's, it's so good it's so good yes it is good it is actually good because the plot twist will, will blow your head everything i thought all the all the red earrings in this book i was like okay this is the person this is mm. it's that's about a woman she shot her husband in the head five times and then you know why and then there's this part that said only i can make us speak um you will find out why the psychotherapist is the only one that can make her speak and it will blow your mind like you just have to be patient there's so many times i went to the back to try to understand what was happening i not understand it but then i wish the ending was more and you know more detailed like they told us exactly what happened not me now imagining what will happen i don't want to imagine i want you to tell me so i can imagine do you understand but the book was really really good five stars everybody should read this but then there's one thing about thrillers i i i don't know if i will read it again without already knowing what is happening the battery is about to die again ah this is the third battery you guys this is the third battery the way the battery dies is annoying so the next book i read is odufa by otek Ot otuke omiya omiya boz hmm. this is a this is the name pronounce it by yourself because lord knows i'm destroying his name this story is really really different and relatable maybe because it's a nigerian based kind of story but you guys it talks about odufa and anthony and their love life I, there's so much that happens in this book you need to check out for trigger warnings i got emotionally riled up i got physically angry and i feel like the book was so good but i just didn't like the way it ended i don't like the way it ended at all it talks about their love life it is very I don't know how to explain the book without spoiling it, to be honest, because ah, the, a lot of things happen. Like, ah, hey, are you kidding me? If you're a Nigerian and you can relate with this kind of book, and you are, you don't really mind the trigger warnings, the old domestic violence and stuff like that, and you know, then you can read this book. But if you feel iffy, I, I don't think you should pick this book up. But I feel like everybody should read it. I don't know what I'm saying. So Anthony has hypertension and low spam count <laughs> at the age of 21. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny, you guys. It's not funny because it happens to people. But at that age, I feel like like a lot of things must be wrong. What? Why? Why? What? What did you anger at that age? So he wants to father a child he wants to this and he cannot father a child and then he met odufa and then odufa you guys just go read it okay it's really really like i'll be talking i'll be talking to my boyfriend like this i'll be like can you imagine what happened can you imagine what this girl said can you imagine what how the family like, their family palaver everything in this book and also tribalism in this book and also the time of the Boko Haram war in this book like you guys the selfless sacrifices he had to make for Udufa and then go read it. I gave it four stars just because I didn't like the way it ended. That's all, to be honest. That's all. If it ended on another note, it would be five stars. Five stars. But that's that ending, I just can't get over it. I can't get over it. I feel like it's not fair. That's all I have to say. The last book I read is this one Lady Before You Are 30. It's by Tolu Lokwe Ajayi. This book is very easy. It's very easy to read. Very floppy. Very few pages. Not much. It's about the things I should know or do before I am 30 years old. But half of the book, you're telling me about your primary school life and the fact that you are very, very brilliant in school. And then you will make a quote in the beginning. Look at me talking in second POV. Thank God. <laughs> she made a quote in the beginning and at the end. And, and I'm thinking about the story like a life story that she wrote in that part and i'm like uh how does this correlate like 
I'll be something's wrong with my own brain. I don't know. But the half from page 44 to the end, yes, very good. Because she talked about so many things, how you should live your life, how you should, what things you should that should be important to you, things, yes. I liked it but the first part I, I feel like it was highly unnecessary I don't you don't need to tell me all that but then who knows is it our autobiography maybe it's our autobiography so yeah I gave it three stars and that's my friends that my friends is the end of my book raids uh, that's the end of the book side. That's the end of the story. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching I read 10 books this month and I DNF'd one so i think that's a really really good reading month i had really really nice reads here so i've already uploaded my video on the books i want to read in june so if you've not seen that please go check it out go check it out and i'll see you guys in my next video let me know what your thoughts are on these books that i've read because i like to know really i really like to know if you liked the books i hated i didn't really hate any book but just saying see you guys I tabbed it. You guys see, I tabbed. My tabbings are fine, right? They're very fine. <laughs> okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be checking out. Oh, oh my God, that was my intro for reaction channel. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did not finish reading. <sighs> my, what, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Okay, I'll start this intro again. Lucy and Josh. Lucy and Josh sit opposite each other like this. Like they are always looking at each other and they hate each other. They are competing for each other's to be buzzed over each other. And what am I saying? Hey, good. Let's start the game. 